Hello and welcome to the second part of this video tutorial on creating a website with what you see is what you get web builder. So let's go into the web builder again here and we're going to create a website from scratch. So this is familiar with you guys so if you've been through this the first video I'll go through it really quickly again. The toolbox is all your tools you need to build your website. Over here, your site manager is your actual pages of your website and the properties of the pages of the, the web page you're working on. So let's go into File up here, New Website. So from here, we're going to create a simple template for our classic car website that we're going to upload to our server later on. So let's go in here to toolbox and let's go down to some drawings and grab a let's see here what we can use. Let's grab a shape. So I'm just going to make a shape here and we're going to go down and maybe make it a thousand by a thousand there's a thousand there and our website's almost a thousand so we're just going to copy this and paste it so we'll have two of them there so this is going to be like our sides of our page now from here this one's a little longer okay so let's just double click this one here and let's make it two tone colors so let's go with the blue I'm feeling bluish today and let's grab this one here, or let's grab this one blue, or we can make it different color too, make it even more funkier. So there we are, we have our basic template so far. We can use, let's go down here, and let's grab the logo tool right here under our extensions, like this, and we'll go in here, and what kind of shape do we want? Do we want to make a star? Uh, let's go with a five pointer star. Okay, and we're going to call our website Steve's Classic Cars. And let's lower our text size a bit because it's not going to fit on the star. We can stretch the star, anyways. Now let's make the shadow effect a little different. So we want this to stand out a bit, so let's do an offset a bit on the shadow so it kind of stands out a bit. There we are. So there's our logo. Um, now we can change the color of this logo as well. We can make it a mixed, we can do a border around it. Let's do a color, hmm, let's make it funky. Let's do lime. And so there we are. We have kind of a funkyish little border there. And we have our ruler across the top so we can actually line it up where we want. So before we continue this, let's see what this looks like in our browser. So let's go ahead and preview it in our browser. And there it is. Cool. Okay. So when we view the page, it's kind of to the left, we don't like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to center it in the center of our web browser. So it's going to be like that when people look at our website. So in here, we're going to go to Site Manager, right click our page, Page Properties, Center Page. We're going to go down here, we're going to go center this page in the browser window horizontally. OK, preview it again, and... Voila! Now, there we are. We're in the center of the page. Okay, so now we're back to our, out of here, back to our work area here. Now take note the toolbox. If you want to leave it open, just hit that little button right there and it'll stay open. It just moves the actual work area over. You can do the same thing for this over here as well and for your properties you can do the same thing so now you got your properties and you get your page everything right there which is that way it's a little easier to work with as well so what else are we going to do with our website 
Well, again, what we can do is we can make a couple different pages up. We can make one up from scratch over here, new page, new page from template. Let's try that one. First of all, we'll just make a brand new page up, blank page, and we'll also make one up from a template. And here's our templates we could use just for our page. So we want a different template for a different page. Let's just grab this one right here. There we have it. So this is our other page. Our page one is blank. This is our home page, which is our index page, which is the main page of our website. So let's go in and grab a menu and we'll start making up some kind of a simple website here. Let's go into the navigation bar. This is a pretty good one. Double click that. We're going to go over here. We're going to edit this. We're going to call this, let's go uh, red cars. We're going to edit this one right here. This other one here. We're going to call it blue cars. Silly, I know for an example and we're going to call this green cars so we got three pages we got two we got to make one more up and we'll just this button four we'll just remove so do we want it to look like that there or do we want it to look horizontally and how about the color of it so if we go into the style let's change the we can change the kind of button stylish we'll do that and we'll change the actual color of it since we're over here let's make it a red one and when someone hoovers over top of it let's make it a green okay so we can go like this here or we can go over here and make it a vertical in our menu okay so we got red blue and green cars this page here let's rename it to red. Let's rename this one here to blue and we're going to clone one page. We're going to clone the index page. So this is our clone page now. I'm going to rename this one to green. Okay so we're back to our home. There's our red, there's our blue, there's our green, and there's our home page. So let's double click this, go to our red, edit. We're going to do an internal web page redirection. Select red, OK, OK. And we're going to go to blue, do the same thing really quickly here. And we're going to go to green. There we are. And we should always add something at the beginning home so we can select this and our index is our home page so if you don't like that position of it we can just take that and move it up and there we have it so now if you get stuck on the red page you have no way to get back home so let's go here and let's take this and let's copy this menu Put it here on the red page. Put it here on the blue page. And this one's already here because we copied it, but we're just going to take this one out and put this one up here. So let's preview our entire web page now and see what it looks like. Okay, it's in the center. That's good. Home. We got the green when we hover over top. Let's go to the red cars. Wow, let's go back home. Let's go to our blue cars, which should be that one we brought in. Let's go to our green cars. That's the one we copied. And from our green cars, let's go to our red cars. Let's go back home. So there you have it. There's redirection and there's pages made up. Very simple. Let's bring in another menu. A go menu. We talked about this earlier. Let's show you how it works in action. So we can add red, add 
blue add green and we just take this one edit select red boom boom blue edit select from our internal website blue and we'll go green there we are so now we have a and we'll just change the color because it's white on white so we can move it around put it wherever we want background color is what I want oops background orange okay perfect okay from here we could bring an mp3 player in if you want if you want to listen to some cool tunes while they're looking at our classic cars just double click it and you just browse for your songs you want to put in there and then that's about it it's pretty simple now the most important thing I forgot to show you is the actual help up here which is very very good their their help menu is very good so if you want to type in here you go search and save you're having a hard time making up forms just hit forms and there's lots of stuff on forms lots of stuff and the ex explanations and examples that they show you are very very helpful so let's just go through this really really quickly all these tools up here all your insert insert buttons and everything else most of the stuff up here you can actually change your toolbox around as well so if you want to view more tools you can add more tools up here or over there you can rearrange this whole thing whatever way you want make it easier for you to work with over here is all your basic tools that you use on a regular basis your site manager is all your pages and again you can put it nested in one you can nest it in another one you can keep on going just like that there on the right hand side is your page you're working on its properties over here is the preview and over here is the publish button so when you hit the publish button you'll actually publish it once you set up your FTP server FTP server it will go to your hosting account and let's see if there's anything else here if you made a video just like I'm doing right now and I'm gonna put it on YouTube I would just take the YouTube and drag it over like this oops that was a media Windows media player let's see grab the right one here YouTube and drag it over you double click it and you just put your YouTube and the address of your video copy it from your link and put it there and make sure you click off auto start unless you want it to play it automatically and there's that here's another neat tool that I like um, catch people's attention you can change the background color and all that stuff the text color and everything on this thing here and it scrolls so basically you put your saying you want to put in there or your phrase let's just change the color here make it stand out oops not sticking here yellow okay and we want to change the actual text color. So there we are. And we'll just preview that. And there you are. And this is just an example of what's going on when you hit the YouTube. And there's your your flying text. And there's your MP3 player that you'll have your songs on. And from here is your link you can go down here and hit the red page then you hit go and voila we're on the right page then we want to go back home again so it's pretty simple to make a web page up well, I hope you guys learned something and if you have any questions you can contact me at steves how to at hotmail.com or go to my website www.steveshowto.com and fill out the contact form and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Thank you.